Welcome back everyone to another video. What's up? Today we got a special surprise for the Audi. We have an intake. We finally picked up a, an intake online. We actually got it directly from ECS Tuning. It is a Loof Technic intake. Um, it basically just replaces the OEM. It's more of a performance. Comes with a giant filter, um, as well as a bunch of metal shielding and guards um, that pretty much go right in the, um, the air intake space. Costs about 280 or so, just a little bit under 300, so pretty on par with the rest of them. There's two screws, two Phillips screws holding it, uh, it in right here, which we already moved right there. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to peel this piece out, gets us the actual intake. And it also has a filter in the back of here, so make sure you get that out, yep. which we already took out. And then the rest of it, uh, the wiring harness, you can pretty much take off. They're just little snaps here. Um, the inflow, the inflow sensor here, which actually Mahul broke my little clip on it before. You just take that right out. Um, I think we actually need to take this piece off because we remove this um, and put it onto the new intake. It basically fits directly onto it. Um, so we'll end up removing that in a little bit. So to take out this piece right here, there was a couple of C-clamps, but we already took those out. So this piece is gonna come out right there, and there's another one on the bottom, which we are already loosened, which is right over here. So we're just gonna take that out. All right, and then the next step is to actually take off this heat shielding right here, and there is three, four screws, uh, just Phillips heads. So you'll need something that will kind of be able to fit into there. Um, and I have a wrench somewhere here with it. Alright, so after you guys get that heat plate, basically it should just kind of wiggle from the mounts underneath. Um, there is one clip on the side you remove. We didn't really put it in right last time, so it should just come straight out. If we can get it to go. Doesn't really matter if this breaks because we're gonna not use it anymore. There. And then it should just come right off the feet. Perfect. Cover up the throttle body right here, so you don't want any dirt to go in there. Make sure you do take this off properly because if you damage this sensor, it's going to cost you another hundred bucks to get that replaced. These big rubber grommets actually typically stay mounted into the subframe on the inside underneath where you pull the intake out from. Um, basically you take those off, there's a couple of little feet with uh, some like nuts on the other side, you just screw those into the bottom and then basically put the rubber grommets onto the bottom, um, they'll just fit in with a little bit of work. And then you also take the sensor area and you basically bolt that on. You have to have the connector facing straight down on the outside. Um, you want to make sure this mesh part is actually where the air is going to go in just to make sure there's no debris that actually go into the uh, into the intake and make sure that it doesn't damage the sensor and everything else after that.
got the tube in, we clamped that down. But for the mass airflow sensor, it is best to try to connect it before you put the tube all the way in because it is a pain because the mass airflow sensor is pointing downwards. So you gotta finagle your hand to actually connect the connector. So now all we have left to do is connect the cone and the little heat shield that goes on top and that's basically it. We got all the heat shields uh, put on. Now Kayla's putting in the last filter, and that's gonna be it. We did some jerry rigging on this. If you read the directions, which we did, um, towards the bottom of the directions, I actually talk about how the uh, piping from the air intake to the turbo inlet um, sometimes, in rare you know, circumstances, needs some uh, cutting. So we took about an eighth inch, which is what it recommends first to try, off of the pipe. In, instead of probably what we should have done is take another eighth inch off, yeah. we just said screw it, we were done, we are ready, and we screwed it in and got it tight. So now we're just tightening that guy down. It's pretty solid in there. It's not going anywhere. And voila! Alright guys, this is going to be the cabin noise. Alright guys, so that's basically it for today's video. What we did was we took out the old intake, popped in the ECS uh, tuning intake for this uh, 2008 Audi A4. Um, but it was a little bit of a struggle. Yeah, it was. Like, the, uh, the metal pieces on the inside didn't line up as much as we thought they were going to. We had to do a little bit of ghetto rigging. Um, we ended up getting them pretty much as solid as they're going to get. And uh, it sounds awesome. Uh, it spools so much faster now, so much more throttle response, it's a lot louder. It actually sounds like I have a blow-off valve even though I don't. It's just the uh, the OEM diverter valve. Share, subscribe, and like, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. See you guys.